you guys want to go do the Kvostov mission? Uh, yeah, shall we continue on for that? What's the next step for that? Kvostov Rising. It's a mission in the yep. Ply- yep. Plaguelands. Okay, so let's shall do we that. Go? Yep. A Kvostov Rising. So this must bring us back to the start, actually, doesn't it? You ever just want to have a nice, gentle conversation <laughs> with or without the rubber hose <laughs> with programmers? We did oh, a yeah. whole video on how the new dashboard oh, completely yeah, and we got slammed for it. Oh, yeah. People were jumping down our throats because well, of all the complaints a, that we had. A for couple of people objected. And we got accused of being Sony fanboys. Neither one of us owns a PlayStation. To finish the Kvostov, we'll need a Golden Age firing pin. Shiro gave me a few ideas of yeah, where we could start it's like you guys aren't listening I when I scan the coordinates. <laughs> They're awfully familiar. Weird. Oh, is this, yes, he, th- is this going to go into the catch? Is that what it is? Nope. No? Oh. No, it's where we spawned and <laughs> it's where we just were alive, I think. See, this, this whole whole errand to me is so arbitrary and and silly. We're we're literally going on an entire mission where we exactly were to get a tiny little piece of metal. It seems like yesterday we were racing the Fallen to get to that rusted old ship. Now we just need one little piece of metal. And we still just, we still can't go back to the other area because the Correct. store is still here. Oh, Correct. see, I thought it was going to be at, at the restart again. Nope. Nope. The, you, that is not a playable in the Plague Lands for whatever reason. Simply because, to be honest, I don't think they could cut it off. You would be able to go all the way for the shore and to everything else, and I don't think that they were prepared to redo all of that. Yeah. I'm detecting traces of fuel leakage from an Arcadia jump ship, faded ether emissions from a fallen Archon, but there's no pin here. Let's get out into the open. Yeah, this is like a nostalgia tour for year one mission one. Yeah. Well, the end, not the beginning of it. No, the beginning. beginning of it too, because the beginning, did yeah. you hear what he said he heard? Fuel emissions from the ship that we got here yeah. when we first showed up. And then the blood or whatever it was of the Archon that we killed when he, the Archon came out of this hole in the yeah. wall. Right, but that's the end of the mission, not the beginning that was, of it. That was the end of the first no, mission. No, it means the beginning of the, of the game yeah. as a mission. Right, mm-hmm. so at the very beginning of the game. So your first two missions, the one where you spawn and start the game for real and then the first yeah. mission where you start out from the tower yeah they're both here yeah yep so remember when i went this hallway remember this pile of trash i walk by every day remember these like little stairs that i go up and down trash. up down i really did spend a long time searching for you i'll always remember our first day through here so what do i have to do there, uh, you have okay. to deploy your ghost, and it'll say, "Not right. here." Well, I just stood there for five seconds, and nothing happened. Here we go. There's a fallen captain nearby, and he's got a pin on him. Bet he just threw it in with a bunch of other scrap. Doesn't even know what he's got. That captain's using a powerful strain of Siva. He'll be hard to take down. Keep after him. Oh, okay. So now we've got we've got Siva and non Siva falling in the same area. And this guy's gonna heal, isn't he? Well, let's just say he's gonna That's be an incredible pain. Oh, and uh, just to brighten your day, this is timed. Oh, bugger. Really? Yeah, four, 406, just so you know. Alright, well, he's halfway already. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, son of a. Yep. Ah!
And the hard part isn't really fighting him, it's dealing with everybody else. Where'd he go? Okay, I've reacquired his signal. Ugh, he's thinking Siva mites. Must have been pretty deep in the plague lands. At least it means we can track him. He's leaking Vegemite? What? Yep. <laughs> Vegemites. Oh, they, they fly around. All right, so now we can go. Now we can there. go this way. Get me close to that yeah. Siva cloud. And careful, it will damage you. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, but it wouldn't give me the hold X until I got so close that it started to damage me. He's definitely leaking mites. Let's follow the trail. Oh, I got. I bet I know where this goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we'll be able to get that ghost then. I don't know why that didn't go off, but okay. Oh. You were you were saying? Oh. Hang up. Actually, I think you were through. I think it went off because I shot it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm I'm here. I remember this room. Huh. And he's right around here. Be careful. He's gonna have a full health bar when he comes back, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Well, among, I have void. Among other things. Off. And the servitors have him shielded. Don't let him get away. Right. Where is he? Is that thing gonna open up? No, it won't. So we just keep... Seriously? Yo, trust me. It, it, don't worry, it gets worse. Yeah. So should we be doing a little bit of damage to him here and there, or should we be waiting until we can do oh, all no, the damage I at once? I would be I would be doing our best to get as okay. much on him as possible. But then again, you got to get the uh, uh, servitors because they're like helping him. Yeah, this is a servitor on the far end of the map we gotta get. Guardian down. Oh. Okay. It's 20 seconds until I can respawn on my own. Okay, I got the servitor. Oh, 
Okay, shield's down again. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't think I can revive you I'm there. Really good at time. That's okay, Steel, I got you. Alright. Okay, where's the laughing boy? Oh, okay, there he is. Oh, uh, I hear explodable things. Okay, shield's down again. Uh, there's another server guard in the back. That's okay, he's down to almost nothing. Oh, gosh. Yeah. He's almost to nothing, but I am managing to find myself dead again. Down. And can you imagine I did that by myself? Hatching in the Iron Temple now. Yeah, one of these Cheryl, days I'll see it. The firing pin and the weapon looks <laughs> exceptional under my scans. Great work. Oh, you don't have to see That's it. Good to hear. I already got the gun. You've got a chance to use it. Too. No, I mean like the a end of a mission. Oh. Catch out on the highway. <laughs> We're on it. Let's go introduce them to an old friend. I count myself lucky I decided to swing back through Russia when I did. If I'd gone south instead of north, it could have been years before we met. We did it, though. We got that ship flying, and I got you back to the city. And now look at everything we've done together. It seems like they're really Where desperate to, to, to make sure that people... Oh, oh the catch. The catch. Uh, which I guess I've got to jump back up somehow. Oh, I know what I need. Heavy ammo, which I did not have for that entire fight. <laughs> uh, and I want to go back to a sniper. And the music, even. Um, check this car. Yep. There's a ghost in here. I actually tripped over it. <laughs> it's this one, isn't it? Was it? The, it's the last one on the right. Is it? Okay, I know it's up here somewhere. It's, uh, it's this one, I thought. Oh, there we are. It looks like a beetle. Um, yeah, I was in the middle of a firefight, and I was crawling behind this car for cover, and then it says, pick up dead ghost. <laughs> Easy, easier to do it in the other mission when there's nobody here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's also there. There is a Siva fragment, but we can uh, we can grab that on the way out. I think. Actually, oh, unless this mission okay. unless this mission ends. Um. Yeah. It's actually. Well, I should probably should have said it just as we were going out of the doorway. It's underneath the bridge. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah, like, I, I found I it when that. I was okay. I was hiding. And I was like, huh, glowy red thing. <laughs> Yeah, I trip over these things more than anything. It's, it's unreal. I'll go around for mission after mission after mission trying to find one. Nope, couldn't find it in the middle of. Uh, uh, of uh, yeah, I must have. I must have found it already. Oh. Oh, it's right oh no, here. no, no, it's here. I was down over here trying to snipe stuff, and sure enough, glowy thing. Okay, so now we gotta go aboard and get a chest. Uh, 
Then when we're all done, I'm gonna dump a lot of motes of light and ex experience into this thing so I can actually use the different features. Oh, of the firing exotic. thing. Oh yeah, no, the fi I, I've just gone full auto. I mean, there's no reason not to, it's just exquisite. <laughs> right, but... It's nice that it's selectable. I'm going up left. <laughs> Gotta hey, open the door. Take a look at that view. Can we swing over there? Yeah, this this thing I think you're gonna like. Oh, see, I you know in the other mission, I came over here and I figured, oh, there must be something over here, but there wasn't. Chat with ghost. Every ghost is born knowing that we have to find our guardian. We don't know what they look like. Not on the outside, anyway. On the inside, I'd always known who you were, and that together, we could be something more. When you think about everything we've seen, everything we've done, I feel like I made the right choice. Hmm. We should let Shiro know how it went out here. Let him admire his handiwork. And thanks, you know, for being my guardian. Oh. I thought there was something to get inside the... So you still can't go inside the catch, actually. <laughs> nope. Uh, oh well. Well, one of the things, there is a chest in the far corner that I think is where you start at this whole... Shindig. But, uh, sadly... You know, I think I just assumed we were going inside this time. Nope. No, it was just a... one-on-one -on -one time... with your ghost. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. So, yeah. <laughs> so as far as expanding story elements and things like that, they're trying to put in these little human touches around, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Not that many would appreciate it. But. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. It's, yeah, uh, probably last would be trying to push that nice skip to... button. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice to see them trying. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that moment is as earned right now as it really should be. It seems like they're trying to do the the farewell between Cortana and and John like two games too early. Really? I, I thought of it as kind of like a nostalgia trip of everything that's been around through Destiny 1 as kind of a, a bow tying end up because this is the last update for it before they could move on to Destiny 2. I would see it more of yeah, a of I, a culmination of you going back to remember your first game, your first adventure, your first yeah, thing here, and then yeah, think of everything that but, happened from then until now. Yeah, but when, and how epic it was okay. for three years. But if he's, so that that's the kind of right. feel I got. But if he's going on like, I know who you are inside as a person, not just as a reanimated dead battle skeleton <laughs> thing. Uh, and I'm so glad I'm your ghost and you're my guardian. They're they're trying to establish my an emotional bond here thing. that oh somebody just dove off the mountain. Um, that that yeah, to me does doesn't that. feel as earned as Cortana just saying it's been an honor serving with you, John. That there was more build up there and a more subtle expression. And this isn't even the first time they've tried to do this. Every time we go back to these areas. Yeah. The ghost is going, hey, guys, remember that? Remember year one? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Huh? And I think, I think it's a little clumsy. I, 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 yes, I can appreciate that an attempt is being made. It made sense, though, right? Because yeah. I just don't think they pulled it off. I'm, I'm saying it's not as earned. The, the, 
emotional appeal needs a deeper yeah. foundation for that to be as effective on me as the ending of Halo 3 was. Well, I, I think they're including it because I think one of the critical things that they had is that they weren't in it from the beginning. And I think that they're trying to make up for that now. So whether because it wasn't uh, at the beginning, it doesn't have the same kind of impact. I, I can understand that. Uh, but I like the fact that this seems to be the direction that they're going to, that that is going to be something that they pay more attention to and is going to get uh, more than just lip service, and I think that's a good thing. I really do. So, like, I mean, it, I, I liked it. it. I, th I thought it was a very human moment there. Part of it's part of it's just the music, yeah. but like the the final couple of cutscenes of Halo Three can actually make me cry, not make me make a joke about. No see, they're trying to make me cry. Right. Yeah. You know, well, uh, the I'm thing taking is it that serious, at the man. End of Halo, <laughs> Halo Three at the end was basically it's been an honor. Oh, yeah. oh I sorry, I thought you meant the other end. You meant the first end. <laughs> well, you mean Which the bit on the man? ship when we don't know what's going to happen? See, in Narc's mind, Halo 4 mean? and 5 did not happen. So. There's no Halo 4. Oh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the, right, okay. So I'm He's talking about Halo, I'm talking Star Trek Halo 3 <laughs> and... Yeah, that because I'm it. sorry, that's the, that's the real ending. If you're going to tell me Bungie intended whatever it was 343 to do, you're out of your mind. Um, but well, no, no, I don't think so. But what what I was thinking of is the ending of Halo is the bit when um, John goes wake into me the when you need me. yeah, wake you that's up. the yeah. end. For the young wolf today. Um, um, I think Narc's referring to the, the dramatic end curious. between them when they were facing right. uh, yes. imminent death together, kind of thing. Right. And that's... I have to say that I thought that was the actual end of Halo Three. Because my friend skipped the cutscene and the credits. Who, who did it? So I had to play that mission. When I was playing that mission with two other friends, the day it was released, one of the guys skipped the credits. And who? I didn't. Um, you know who they are. Texas, you don't know. Oh, that's okay. Well, I want to find out who it is because I want to smack him. Well, look, those credits. That, that to me, are, those that credits to me is, are kind of long. Criminal. So, I mean, to, I to do right, like something right. like that. That that's criminal. There, I'm sorry. Yeah. You you need to go right. to jail so for that. Basically, I went to, I went to bed thinking that they had actually maybe killed off the chief. We don't know. <laughs> oh, and then man. I played through that mission again and went, oh. You know. Okay, that's much better. It's funny, funny story that ties into that. Have you seen Toy Story three? Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen it in a while because I don't want to see the part that makes me cry. Well, okay. Well, or, thank you. I'm talking about the part that makes you cry. Okay. So you do are aware okay. of it. And for anybody watching or listening to this that uh, hasn't seen Toy Story 3, giant spoilers. Skip ahead now. Okay. So basically at that scene, there's actually a story of some kids that actually took that movie, right? And the scene that makes you cry, they edited it so that as the, that scene continues and progresses, there's a fade out and then they put in the credits and then they played it back for their mother. And then she's watching this and she's like, oh my God, isn't it, that's it? They ended it there? How could they? Seriously, she was freaking out. And everybody in the room was laughing because they had, they totally knew that it was going to affect her emotionally that way. And they said, no, 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 we're kidding. That's yeah. not the real ending. But literally she thought the movie ended there. And and yeah. oh, it, it was devastating. It was absolutely yeah. devastating. So on that yeah. note, to go to bed after waiting for three years for that Halo to, to end the way that huh? it did and have him skip it? Yeah. No, nah, I'm sorry. That 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 deserves a smack. No. <clears throat> yeah. So I don't actually play Destiny with him. So yeah, yeah. I I wouldn't. You, <laughs> I wouldn't play um, anything with. I would but, take him off whatever friends list you have. I, seriously, that that's. I think no, I did. that's not cool. <laughs> oh, if not because of that, but afterward for other reasons. Oh well, it, see that type of person who would do that to someone, then yeah, that's not somebody you want to be friends with. Well, that's the person who doesn't value story. So doesn't value a well. That's the reason. Not to mention that's other the people. I'm playing this. Yeah, but oh, see, not even just doesn't respect story, but doesn't yeah. respect your appreciation of it. You know, he didn't respect you, well, and that to me is well, not cool. It doesn't, if you don't know that something exists, what you would say. Like, then how can you respect it? Yeah, but he he like, knows that oh. how games work. Well, oh yeah, I mean. okay, but it's <laughs> but it's a reverence. Yeah, I know, but there there are games that after I'm done with them, I will 
watch all the credits just out of respect for the people who made it and maybe because there's something at the end of it maybe not and you know what there are other games that i don't care about that much so for some people bungee games like halo and destiny fit into that category and for some they don't like there are some people who watch the end of call of duty's credits for something i don't know right but this was the first run this this was literally the first time that you had played that to that ending right i know but i'm saying yeah so that 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 in of itself means that you know you you don't skip things the first time that you play a game that you've been waiting for a very long time to play but not everybody does yeah people not everybody waits three years to play the next halo some people are just like oh there's a new halo yeah that's pretty good i'll get it and when the game's over the credits come up you turn the xbox off and you and you play something else you don't wait through three musical pieces and 10 minutes of credits because there might be a stink no no no. we need to prevent those those type of people from breeding uh by the way if there's a vendor that sells armor materials i need to go see them now so i guess we're going to the tower well, Shiro does, I think. Oh, does he? Yeah, Shiro sells. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Shiro's holding. He's got stuff. <laughs> He's got the stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. So, hey, Nark, about that movie that doesn't exist. Always good to see. Uh, which movie that doesn't exist? Halo 4. That's not a, is that a movie? I thought it, it was a game. game. Yes. Right. Uh, that's what I meant. So, I, I'm used to saying the movies that don't exist about the um, Star Wars something something yeah yeah he's, he's, yeah, and, and yeah. The, and the star trek's something something now uh, <laughs> yeah. those don't exist so, either um halo 4 at the end of halo 4 they managed to do a decent job of basically taking halo 1 through 3's emotional investment and saying we're gonna help we're gonna we're gonna use that and we're going to basically it feels wrong to say use your emotions and use your feelings, but th- they made <laughs> use your the words. most of the emotional investment <laughs> I had. So the ending of Halo 4 really did move me, and I really did cry because I'm like, oh, come on, for three good games, you guys were awesome together, and this last one, you were not that yeah. bad. Awesome. Well, that's, yeah, that's a different kind of tears. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But it was, you know, the end of Halo 4, I actually did cry a bit because this, you know, this guy I've identified with is now lost his friend and... Spoiler alert. In, in no, no, no. Look, I, <coughs> I, I, I have <laughs> not played them. Do you mind us spoiling Halo 4? No, because I've, because, no, because I've seen them. I have no, not played he... it and I have not owned it, but there are people who put, uh, you know, cinematic cuts of stuff on YouTube. And so I, oh, yeah. I am aware of all the story that goes in there. And uh, although I got to admit, it doesn't stay with me. I think I've tried watching it twice and it makes less and less sense the more I watched it and none of it sticks. So, uh, you know, I, I, I have only the vaguest recollection of what goes on in those games. I, I know they bring the, the didact on as a bad guy, oh, yeah, and then the, I know eventually Cortana sort of, kind of, maybe becomes the bad guy after sort of maybe being dead, but then not. And um, That's Halo 5. Yeah. Halo 4 basically has a couple of points where it's like, you got some decent gameplay, and then you have the bit where Cortana thinks that John is dead. Uh-huh. About two-thirds of the way through the movie. Book. Game. Game. I don't. I, okay, I'm sorry. Me and English aren't doing too well today. That's okay. And then at the very end of the game, you've got the uh, "I'm going to sacrifice myself for you," and you can't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. More fallen uh, drop. That's the better off. You know, we'll all be. That's it in terms of story. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you don't really almost as good as Katana as strapping a bomb to the Master Chief and throwing him down a hole. Uh, so. <laughs> I leave Jason Jones's girlfriend oh, issues out man, of this. Oh, I forgot about. Th- <laughs> oh, you forgot yeah, about that? I, I've forgotten about that. Yeah, mm. I forgot about that story. Wow. Hey, he was in a was real dark place. Joe told that. Ab- <laughs> Joe told that about Jason, or or was that Jason telling all that about Joe? I can't remember. Uh, that was Joe talking about Jason. I think that was Joe talking about Jason. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was okay. Never mind. 